Da, da, da. I'm watching EMP Lemon. Operation Red Herring, YouTube Geographic. Give me a moment. Give me just a moment. Okay, go back a bit. There. Of course, like the other theories, the industry plant hypothesis doesn't account for everything. If Matt really was a hired agent, then how could you explain his older content? It seems rather ridiculous to suggest that he was planning this stunt for more than two years. If the advertisement... Well, EMP Lemon. <clears throat> two words can summarize that. Plausible deniability. And shit like this usually brews for five years, at minimum, before it goes into effect. Seriously. <laughs> it's obvious to me. Every, every year, same pattern, same song and dance. Up until this year. This year's been a major dumpster fire. But anyway, same song and dance every year. Traditional media attacks the advertisers on YouTube. <coughs> yeah, Matt was a plant. Bought, paid for, sold, whatever. Grown in a lab, I don't care how it happened. But it happened. It's pointless to go on at the um, the politics of the situation because most people only see the so-called optics. That's where the plausible deniability comes in. You paint a guy up as some sort of saint, then you reveal his back tracks are full of shit. You get rid of the guy. First rule of assassinations. Assassinate the assassination. Assassinate the assassin, not the assassination. That's redundant. First rule of being an assassin. Assassinate the assassin. You hire a gun to do a job. You dispose of the gun. You leave no evidence. So everything that you're pondering becomes part of their narrative. The real corporations in charge of everything. Pulling the strings behind the curtain. So in the public eye their hit piece was assassinated because it was a person while the traces he left behind stirred up that downward spiral into a dumpster fire of shit I'm not going to bother explaining the, the bureaucracy and the politics behind it because you've already done quite well in your video. All the information's there, but quite simply, you just have to understand there's more to it than what you see. Let's see, what kind of analogy? or facsimile of similar circumstance can I uh, say that helps anyone understand hmm it's like a magician's card trick it's all by the numbers the cards are counted the deck is stacked It's always been that way, and the algorithms, they just make it easier to count the cards and stack the decks. So it can seem like it's random, 
but having a baseline understanding of chaos theory, you'll understand that nothing is random, which seems counterintuitive to the naming of the theory. More an observation, really. But then we could digress into particle physics, and, well, that would be pointless. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Until next time. Oh, by the way, does anyone in enjoy any of this? Anybody? Any of the things I've done, the gaming, the fucking around for shits and gigs, <laughs> satire, parody, sarcasm, any of it? Any of it at all? Yeah, till next time. Bye.